Hi guys, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha 2 TV. This should be a quick, short, to the point video of what's in my bag because I am desperately waiting for DHL to arrive and I don't want to miss them. So I'm going to move through this quickly. And it shouldn't be too long because it is this teeny little cute Louis Vuitton Vanity PM bag. It is a handbag. It is classified as a handbag. However, many people have like the Nano Nice, uh, which is a very similar size. This is a little bit bigger and they use that as a handbag. I've never ever been like a vanity, actual beauty vanity case from Louis Vuitton handbag user person. No offense, if you like doing it, that's cool. Um, but when this came along and it was like a proper handbag, I was like, I think I want to get my hands on it. I am denied on it for so long that Emma, my SA here, I don't think she could find it. So I actually got this off one of my personal shoppers, um, The Front Row Paris, who is a Paris-based personal shopper, Irene. She's amazing. I've used her for many, many years, actually. Um, so I ended up getting this baby from her. Let's show you what is inside it and do kind of like a first impressions. I want to try and do this on every current bag that I'm using. Uh, we're not in lockdown here in Sydney, in New South Wales, in Australia for COVID. We have all of our um, tracking and all of those COVID safe systems in place. However, we do not have to wear masks. We do have to sanitize when we go inside a property and keep you know, keep, we should keep sanitizer in our cars, uh, but we don't, it's not a lockdown situation. I want to preference that so people don't like come for me, you know, if I'm not doing it correctly, that's in your state or country. And that was my little disclaimer for COVID. I love carrying it by its handle sometimes on its own. And for me, it does fit in on my forearm. I don't mind if it just goes here, as long as I can kind of get it on my arm to have two hands if I'm in, you know, a shop or whatnot. I like that. That doesn't bother me too much. That doesn't go all the way to the crook. It's very cute like that. This is its little gorgeous LV hardware pochette in the coated leather. To have it on or not it is like totally your preference to like jazz it up almost like a you know, a bag charm. I don't use the lock, I don't lock this bag. So technically, on an everyday use, this gets in the way. I'm gonna say that as my first first impression. Sorry, I haven't got my organizer from Samorga yet. I do really wanna get it, because I heard it's a game changer for structure. But I pack so much in this that it's kind of structured anyway. Uh, when I have it all undone and whatnot, I have the lock, which is on the side here, and it's a beautiful, one of the beautiful shiny gold with the circular LV and that just sits on the double zip closure there which has the leather tabs. I think the proportions and the layout of design and manufacturing of this bag is supreme. The piping being in black, all of the contrast being in the black, you then have, whether you love or hate it, the reverse monogram on the bottom. They included feet, gold feet that are engraved. They're flat, so hopefully they don't wear as quickly um, as rounded. And then you've got your top reverse monogram, all of your coated black you have engraved. Like, it's just done to perfection. You know, almost like old school Louis Vuitton perfection. Like a a Stressa or a Galleria. Uh, those bags were just done so well and so nothing was left unturned. All of these um, like rivets on the side have LV um, embossed in them. They're just so beautiful. I will take my Excel reverse monogram strap off. So this, I am showing you exactly how it's being carried today. This is it right now with me. And if I do these, you know, with every bag I'm using, I'm going to do it with the bag that I am using at the time. I'm not going to like change it and dress it up just to show you. Do you know what I mean? That's pointless. This is my XL reverse, sorry, reverse monogram strap with the coated leather on one one side you can change the settings and that's why it's called XL. 
because uh, you can change it. It's not stationary and then it's got the two claw, claw clasps with LV. I use this on this bag because this is like so comfortable. Guitar strap. It can cross body on me beautifully. I have the babies, you know, two boys. I just, I just have can run around. However, I keep its strap that it comes with, or chain rather, because it is so beautiful. And this is like the first time that um, uh, Louis Vuitton, so Nicola, did this in like braided intertwined kind of leather. You can see their leather and the gold hardware. And it's literally like a snake chain. It's like a piece of jewelry. It's really beautiful. It is not long enough for me to do crossbody. It is not comfortable for me to use on a daily basis. It would be much more like I could dress it up. I could use this interchange on other things. Like right here, I have my little uh, double pouch. And right now I have my Samorga. I am getting so many questions. Oh, I am getting so many questions about my jumbo and when did I get a new jumbo and where did it come from and where do you get it with the pearl handle? What season is that? I gotta go over these chains, okay? I gotta go over my Samorga chains. It's crazy. It is a really booming industry chains now. Um, detachable chains because they're done really well and you can put them on your bags. So, you know, I could use this on my double pouch as, you know, to really dress it up, say for like date night or something. I leave one zipper stationary on one side, like about there, and I just maneuver one. Usually this one, because it's closest to me, I'm right-handed. So I, I go like this and I, unzip and I get my items out like of that much space but that's what I do I maneuver one zipper if I'm kind of out in the shops and whatever otherwise if I'm I was out shopping with mum yesterday and we we're having lunch and whatnot so I was able to sit the bag down and undo the whole zipper I am not gonna lie and say that it's easy access because it's not the coolest thing about this vanity is that you have about an inch or just yeah yeah about an inch over the piping as well of space in the lid so if you are a sunglasses girl and you need to have sunglasses you can pop them on top I promise even really big ones in a soft pouchy which like so so you can just see it's got beautiful microfiber interior and they sit on top like so the sunnies I am rocking at the moment in this little baggie are my key Australia incredibly affordable don't at me bam look at that these are just like Alan Munro like off-camera type thing on top see don't don't at me don't don't come for me is my mask this is a brand new mask it actually is brand new I have not used it because my other one I just threw I threw it you can hand wash these but the other one I just threw out I do not need to keep it in a separate container because like it's touching things because we have zero cases and they just ask you to wash your hands and things of that nature. If I was to be sick or be touching things, obviously I would put this in a case. We don't wear them. We don't have to wear them. So that's why it's like, you know, topic sensitive and area sensitive. This is the layout of this little guy. It packs a punch, don't underestimate it. That is for sure. This is currently exactly how I'm rocking it. In lines, which is very much my vibe. In the corner here, I have my current lipstick. I don't have it on really, really thick, but I kind of like just swiping this and not having it too intense. This is a Gucci Satin Mild Red Rosewood. I got this a while back, but honestly, these, and it's in the most gorgeous case. And I have my four key in monogram. Can't change out of it. I know I say that every every video I show of what's in my bag, but I just can't. I love it. It's a perfect size. I don't know what I'm going to do with my six key. I haven't used it in God knows how long. Okay, in the back here for my wallet, which has got a lot of cards on the back, but we'll just cover them. So it's got all of my most used debit cards. It's got cash slotted in the big front pocket and it's got extra cards 
and like two coins. I'm not a coin girl, so it's got that down in the zipper. If you can find this, if they've redone it, I this was a, like a 19p, I think, or the 19, yeah, like 19p and in between season. If they're doing that again, that is a really great buy, okay? It really is. I have a compact which is my beautiful Marc Jacobs Flesh and Fantasy Air Blush. It's a blush palette, but the mirror and the compact on this, I have carried this in my mini pochette, I like honestly nearly for six months straight because I just love the compact itself. And if I'm touching up or like whatever I'm doing or mum needs a mirror, it's like, it's just so perfect and it fits perfect inside your bag. So then in the rest of the lines, we have my mini pochette, another item I cannot trade out of because I'm obsessed with it. Hang on, I'll show you that in a second because I'll just show you here. So then I just have an absolute bunch of receipts. Look at this grocery list. Look at this, okay? Three boys, two of them are under four. But so, like fruit, we eat so much fruit in this family, I cannot even tell you. Okay, I'm just gonna pull this on close so that we can just go through this really quick together. It's not actually that full. I thought I had a lot more in there. This holds all my extra points cards. No, in Australia, flybys, and I have extra like rewards cards. Have them in there. So we don't really need to go over every single one of those. And then I don't really have a lot else. This, your lip glow is the best, the best lip balm. It gives you a sheer kind of tint. I really, really, really recommend this. And they come in gift packs during like the festive season and stuff. So definitely check that out. I rave about this lip glow. I have some hair ties, um, which are my life. When I cannot find a hair tie, you don't want to be around me. Um, <laughs> I have really dry hands um, at the moment. Crabtree and Evelyn have the best hand cream. This came in a set of three. And then lastly, I really thought I had a lot more. My double facets mirror, which everybody asked me about. And if I was to do a gift guide, Oh, I should definitely do a luxury gift card. Ew, look how dirty it is. I should do a luxury gift card. Let me know below if you'd like to see that. This is a great luxury gift, you know, and they come in gift packs. And then lastly, in the front here, and I always keep it on the front wall or the back wall, is my phone. And it is on my the George. The George. Oh! <gasps> super excited <laughs> super excited for that delivery you know when it's like things you really need rather than things that you want from Louis Vuitton and I was like yes yes maybe I will unbox that and show you or sometimes I just unbox on Instagram so follow me on Instagram because See how I'm throwing it in here? Because at 200,000 followers on Instagram, I am giving away this Louis Vuitton Nano Speedy. It is pretty much brand new. I've used it once or twice. I'm giving it away to my followers. When I reach 200,000K on Instagram, so go follow me. I don't care how long it takes. It will sit here until that mark. And then we will do a giveaway for a Nano Speedy. Let's put the actual strap it comes with back on it so you can see it all jazzed up and pretty because it, it really is very pretty. It's brilliant detail. It really is brilliant detail, this handbag. If you've been thinking about it and you can get your hands on it, your essay can help you or even through a personal shopper how I did, do have a look at it, definitely. It is worth it. I think it is worth it for everything you get on this bag. I think it's worth it. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Everything I am wearing and everything I talked about are in links below. Please check them out. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you should. You definitely should. Ding, ding. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you wish to do so, there is a button below, guys. I would super appreciate that. I hope everybody is staying safe and doing well, and I will see you in my next video. Take care. Peace.